Hi, I just watched the movie Red One, and it was the best movie ever made, I think. Are you telling me this clown is a level four naughty lister? A level four naughty lister? Red One is right up my alley. It's another one of those fake looking movies like If or Purple Herald, and it's a children's film because I'm a real movie critic. But Shazam 2, any good? We didn't see it. Uh <laughs> I thought it was pretty good. <laughs> Red One is the product of a bunch of executives thinking, what if Christmas was like the MCU? That, that's the entire movie. They made an MCU-ified suit for Santa J.K. Simmons who rides on a big sleigh jet plane and his right-hand man elf is fucking Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Uh, of course, your boyfriend's here. <laughs> the trailer feels like a fake movie that would be featured in a TV show as a joke or something, but no, it's real. It, it's basically like that one I think you should leave sketch where it's an awful gritty detective action movie, but the punchline is that Santa Claus is playing the main character. Hey, fuck, I pull it, you fuckers! You fucking suck! Fucking All the news about this movie was really funny. I mean, okay, just look at the cast. Come on, that's pretty funny. The Rock specifically, though, he was apparently paid like $50 million to be in this. One-fifth of the movie's entire budget, by the way. This movie that is completely flopping, by, by the, the way. way. Surprisingly, my theater was really full, maybe just because it was the opening weekend. But the movie's severely underperforming. It was also reported that The Rock would be hours late to the set and ruin the entire schedule. And when he did show up, he wouldn't use the bathroom for some reason and he would just start pissing in bottles i pee in a bottle he said yeah that happens <laughs> insiders said johnson opted to use water bottles over public bathrooms if he needed to go he pees in a voss water bottle and his team or pa has to dispose of it if you smell what the rock is cooking what the fuck is going on on this set then it's also reported he would start giving away money on set probably because he felt bad but uh, okay, what, what's up with the piss bottles? What's up with that? Why did he do that? During the release of the movie, The Rock readily said that it should be seen on the biggest IMAX screen possible to truly be appreciated. With Red One, our intention was to make a movie that you can enjoy on the biggest screen possible. Legitimately, the biggest screens possible are IMAX. I was midway through shooting Red One and I had an opportunity to see Oppenheimer. A level four Naughty Lister? Okay, so Dwayne has gone butt fucking insane. This is right off the rock basically ruining the DCEU with Black Adam. Look, these stories are more connected than you think. They should do a cinematic universe with all the box office flops from 2024 starring comic book actors. Look, I can mention the rock playing three different fucking characters in Super Pets again. Now what you're gonna see here is why the hierarchy of power in the DC universe is about to change. Uh, that really does put a smile on your face. That's like seeing an old friend. I think Red One is part of his big comeback plan from that, which just seems to be starring in pretty safe children's films and roles he's already popular for, like they're doing Moana 2 and a goddamn live action Moana movie. It came out in fucking 2016, dude. Why are we doing this? Hollywood is genuinely turning into a like serpent eating its own tail, but Dwayne The Rock Johnson is the serpent and the tail is my fucking wallet for buying a ticket to this stupid fucking ass shit movie. Red One gets a 10 out of 10. How is the actual movie though? Is it fun? Is it funny? Yes. yes! I am not above Marvel MCU slop. I will watch most of it and this is no different. Except all the Disney Plus shows. I didn't watch that shit. You should see me in a crowd. If you like movies where it's just like the rock on screen and you can just turn your brain off, you're, you're gonna have fun. Although, while I was sitting down, some bitch left a bag of popcorn in the seat, so I set my level, level four, four fatty lister. lister ass down on this fucking bag of popcorn, so the movie actually gets points mm. off for that. This movie feels like a big parody, like what if Christmas was an action movie, but it doesn't feel actually self-aware about that fact and the only thing you get is chris evans going like wait we have to save christmas a, a level, level four, four naughty, lister? naughty lister it kind of does make the movie better though the main villains are these like shape-shifting witches 
And while The Rock and Chris Evans are trying to track down a weird crypto seller pimp guy, he gets possessed by the witch and it's kind of fucking hilarious because he's just like screaming. Oh, then The Rock calls fucking Mrs. Claus and she's like, I'm baking macaroons for Santa. And The Rock says, that's not her. Santa hates macaroons. The North Pole has been taken. I think the quote, the North Pole has been taken summarizes the entire movie pretty well. The overall look of the movie is fine, I guess. It just looks like a Marvel movie, but a little more colorful, which is good. But I think that's literally just because it's a Christmas movie. The CGI quality wasn't that bad either, and I'm pretty sure a surprising amount of stuff was practical. But it is noticeable when The Rock becomes a CGI ragdoll as jumping like 30 feet in the air and... Like, during some action scenes, especially the last one, it was so hard to tell what the hell was going on. But, like, it was fine. It wasn't, like, the level of Flash or anything, or it's the worst fucking thing ever. Let's talk about the characters. J.K. Simmons is Santa Claus. Wait, wait, I'm sorry. It's just Nick, because, you know, he's cool. I didn't watch that Violent Night movie with fucking Stranger Things guy, but I much prefer how he looks. More like a, a jolly level, level four, four fatty lister list. than just muscular skinny bald jk simmons but of course don't confuse violent night with silent night a movie about a guy who can't see or something and he kills people or, or silent night again but that one's actually a remake of the movie silent night deadly night the murder santa movie and don't forget about its many sequels <laughs> It's a shame because I like how J.K. Simmons sounds as Santa, and there's a nice scene at the beginning where he wears a normal Santa suit while doing a meet and greet at a mall, and that's really Santa's only opportunity to be jolly and nice in this movie, and they don't really do anything with it. The movie has this weird obsession with making Santa badass and cool, because giving presents to kids and spreading Christmas cheer is dumb and gay. But no, Santa has to lift big ass weights, beat ass, and fuck 20 hookers. Okay, that didn't happen, but you know, this scene is even weirder because the TikToker walks up and starts screaming about how Santa should take a picture with the stew crew. And it goes on for like 30 seconds and it leads to nothing. I don't know why it's there. Also, the guy doing it looks like Sky does Minecraft. That's very important. The Rock's character is just The Rock. I mean, at least he's not in the jungle this time, but it's just The Rock. I don't even remember his name. He's Santa's right hand man and his obsession with Santa is kind of weird. Like they don't treat each other like friends. He's more of a loyal servant and worship santa it's not a very endearing dynamic i guess it doesn't really matter because the entire movie is them trying to save santa because he got fucking kidnapped by the sugar plum terrorists and he spends the entire movie getting all his magic sucks out in a glass ball so yeah i'm gonna show you my ass a level four Naughty Lister? Chris Evans plays Jack O'Malley who is the heart of the film which means the movie has heart disease <laughs> You don't have a Wonder Woman action figure, do you? I'm gonna take my Rooster Bat plush toy somewhere to keep her to keep me comfortable. Jack is a fucking weirdo dark web hacker that's just like Billy Butcher who's forced to work with a Christmas elf who also happens to be Dwayne the Rock Johnson. I like the scene where they start fighting these giant snowmen that have like big CGI asses and then the people in front of us started taking pictures of the screen when the giant snow asses showed up. I don't know if that's correlated somehow. <laughs> This guy's dead. Jack and the Rock could go fight Krampus, and that was pretty cool. There's one shot of a Krampus goon getting launched into a wall like a Gmod ragdoll, and it plays a very specific sound effect of a woman screaming. And it was so funny, me and my dear friend Seatbelt burst out laughing. That's a, that's a point to the film. I don't hate this movie, honestly. It's a little messy, but it's just like fucking stupid and I kind of like fucking stupid movies. It's probably just failing this hard because audiences are so sick of the same actors, the same comedy, the same looking movies. Also, the trope of let's make a Christmas movie but badass is so overdone at this point. Even with movies I'd call good with this trope, it just completely undermines what Santa is and how he would act. This Santa would not give a fuck about the kids. Yes, my main criticism is the movie isn't jolly enough. That's how I'm gonna end my review. Merry Christmas in November because they decided to release a Christmas movie in November. Fuck you, I gotta go piss in a down bottle. <laughs>